please welcome at the sound of the trumpet you know that means it is time to begin please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stockswish.com please welcome melissa Arnold. good afternoon everyone and thank you so much online trader central for having me welcome thanks for spending the evening with me here i'll try to make the one hour that you have with me worthwhile my name is Melissa Armel and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. And tonight we're going to talk about a proven winning system to trade options and equities. If you would like more information, you can always email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Kathy has my information. She'll put it in the room. This is me. I'm actually a trader. I trade the U.S. stock market. And so tonight we're going to talk about trading. We're going to talk about trading options and equities. So where it's really day trading and options you could do where you would hold them maybe overnight. If you're here, maybe you feel like one of these people, like this lady here, where you feel very frustrated that you're trading, but you're just not making enough money. No matter what you do, you always feel like you're behind the eight ball and you're not making enough and you're barely getting by. And then, and then after the commissions and the platform fees, you're down and you feel very frustrated. Like you just want to throw the computer against the wall. Well, take a step back and I find that the end of the calendar year it's December it's December 9th 2015 less than 30 days in to end up the calendar year it's a good time to reevaluate it's a good time to kind of take a step back and maybe you could even take the rest of the year off and not trade you know you want to go into the new year with an optimistic attitude and a plan of action of how you're going to make money in the market so why maybe are you frustrated that you're not making the money that you are? If you've been trading for the last year or the last several years, think about why. Again, this is part of the reflection. Could it be that you're taking trades that have a lack of momentum, a lack of volatility, and maybe it's because you have a lack of a method? If you want to make money as a trader, I don't care if you trade as a day trader, stocks, the market, ETFs, options, whatever you do. The way that you get paid is from volatility and momentum. You have to have that into the move in the right direction in order for the profit. And if you don't have the direction right, you won't make money. And if you don't have the right momentum and volatility, the money that you make may not be enough. Okay, and that was the picture of the girl before that was very frustrated. You need volatility and momentum to profit. Again, the money. And I know a lot of people are very, very focused on money and making, and making it in the market, but really what you have to be focused on is what you're doing. It's the pick. It's all about the pick. It's like if you lived inside my brain and you could, it's, it's really hilarious because sometimes I'll risk, I'll take a trade and I'll just say, this is it. I have 100% conviction. And it's almost like, I don't even know how much I'm risking. Now, I do, okay? But it's almost like the feeling, the feeling that I get inside of myself, in my physical body and my brain, is that that I'm really not risking the money. I am, and I'm aware of it, and that's part of the plan of action, but I don't feel like I'm at risk. Does this make any sense? And it's because of the fact that I'm so focused on my own system and what I know that allows me to take the risk to trade and make the kind of money that I make. If you're getting a stock, after the volatility has happened, after the momentum has happened, it's too late and you can't get paid right or you will actually lose, even if you get the direction right. And this is very true, even in options, but I call it the chasers where you're fighting, 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 fighting against, against somebody else, whoever that person is, trying to get it. Here's a good example. Alta, and we're going to go over this trade, was a gap up. This is a bullish gap back from last Friday. Beautiful gap, and we'll review this. If you're trying to go along this, okay, here, today, yesterday, it was a better entry here. Now, could you still make money on this? Yes. What's the dream target on Alta 200? Do I think it gets there by the end of the year? Maybe, but I don't have 100% conviction. 190, 195 is realistic in Alta with a market rally. But what was a better entry here on the gap up that happened when it gapped up to 175? Because if you had bought this gap on the day of the gap, you'd be up more than $10 already. And then if it goes to 190, 195, 200, you're up even more. Okay. But many, many people would not have known to do this gap, to do the gap here as an option or a day trade 
and therefore then they're chasing this over the high, buying it over the high, which by the way, Ulta did make a high, a new high, and an all-time high in the stock today, even though the market fell off the planet today, Ulta made an all-time high today, okay? And we're going to talk about that too. So the goal is to get a big move and a follow-through before it's too late, before it's too late, because you don't want to be a chaser. That's not how you make money in the market. So do you want to find volatility so you can make money trading? This is a, obviously the answer is yes. You want to make money, but going back, if you start from square one, how do you do that? You have to find the right pick, which tells you, number one, the directional bias, and number two, that that stock is going to have momentum and volatility so you can trade it as a day trade or a swing trade or an option. Same concept, same system. Can everybody hear me? Can everyone hear me? I just lost the mic for a second. Let me know if you can hear me. It flipped on and off for a second. Can you hear me? I just turned it on and off for one second because I think I lost the internet. What do you see on the slide here? Here, I'm going to click off of it. What do you see? Tell me what you see. It should see a big red yes. Red like my red lipstick. My red nail polish. Okay, there you go. All right, let's go to the next one. So how to find volatility. How can you find it? The key is to find a stock to trade before the volatile move happens. You want to find the stock beforehand so you don't miss the move, okay? But in order to do that, you need a strategy that spots volatility. Otherwise, it's too late. If you're waiting for it to come up on the scanner or on, or on CNBC or whatever, Yahoo Finance, or you get an email, it's too late, okay? It's gone. It's done. And you're chasing it. And that's what you don't want to do. And yet, that's what many traders do. So how do you find volatility before it sets up? You need a strategy and a system that can do that to get in before you get the email from CNBC, before you see it on actual live television. You want to know and be in it before it goes, okay? This is how you make the profit. You need a strategy that inherently has momentum, and you need a method to pick the stock symbol that will play out with volatility in that specific day. You need a method that is reliable, meaning it works consistently. Does that mean that every single trade works? No, that's impossible. And anyone that thinks that every trade that they take will work doesn't understand what trading is all about. You have to be willing to take risk, knowing, knowing there's a chance that it may not work. However, if the odds are in your favor where you have a system that works way more than it doesn't, and you have way more gainers than losers, you'll be up. And not only that, the gainers pay a lot. It's called risk to reward, and we're going to talk about that too. So you need a technique that uses advanced technical analysis, which is the way that I trade, to determine the target for the move and the risk to reward for your trade. So let's talk about momentum here. The momentum that comes into the market and stocks in this strategy, the strategy that I trade, makes it exciting to trade. It makes it very exciting to trade. The profits can be so, so big. That's the reason that I love day trading. I can make thousands of dollars in minutes or a day. A lot of buying or selling coming into stocks creates opportunity for you and me to make money. And it's all due to this one strategy and its gaps. And I created a method. I, I called my system golden gaps because I use a rating system to determine a gap that is what I would call golden, meaning that it has a high chance and odds of working. And that is the method that I use to train, to day trade, and you can use it to day trade stocks or options. So what is a gap? For those of you that don't know what a gap is, a stock gap from the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. That's all a gap is. It's very, very simple, actually. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. So today is Wednesday. The market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time. Tomorrow morning, something will gap. Many, many stocks will gap. They will open at a different price tomorrow morning on Thursday, December 10th, and they close today on the 9th. And so, therefore, there's many stocks that gap. Some gap up, some gap down. How do you know which one to do? You have to have a way to define it. Here is a gap that happened last week. This was on Friday. The stock was BKS. It closed the night before around 12 something and opened the next day around $10 and something. So it gapped down $2. So it closed at one price on Thursday night and opened at a different price on Friday morning. This is a gap. I shorted this on the day to make money. 
It closed and made this tail, but it was a short in the morning and I made the profit. So why are gaps so volatile? Well, gaps are created by institutions in the market, big banks, hedge funds, all of that, okay? And they all participate in stocks when they gap. And specifically, they are in them for the reason of making money. Because many banks and institutions are looking to take all the money that they have collected from clients, or even if it's a bank, like you and me, where we have our money markets, our savings, our checkings, okay? And they want to invest that money to make money. I was talking about this in the class. I had a class uh, uh, over the weekend, and I was talking to people about it, and we were talking about the fact that banks no longer want to lend money the way that they used to do. I don't know if it will ever go back to the way that it used to be. I used to do mortgages, but I will tell you that banks have to make money. So if banks aren't lending to people in the way that they used to to make money, guess what? They're going to make it in the market. So they are heavily vested in the market. They can go long or they can go short. They all participate in stocks when they gap. When a gap stock gaps, it creates a panic or a hurried action for the stock when it's gapping down, when it will bring in the volatility of a lot of buying or selling. Now, when it's gapping up, you can still have panic. Why? It's like, oh my gosh, we got to get in. We got to get in. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alta's rallying. We have to get it or it's going to go higher. We don't want to pay up for it. Boom. And that's why Alta rallied, for example, $10 in a day. The key is to find the right direction to play the stock because you don't want to do something wrong because you won't make money. If you go long something that is a short or if you short something that's a long. The key is to find the right direction to play the stock to get the move and then volatility in that direction. So it's about having a focus. This is something I do very well and I figure all of this out. When I roll out of bed and I look at the market in the morning, pre-market or tonight. You could look at stuff tonight. But the bottom line is I'm prepped. I'm ready to go prior to 930, so I know what I want to do. Or maybe I do nothing, okay? You have to find a focus. How do you find volatility in gaps? And that's what I do. So how do you find the gaps that will move big? You need a system to do it. You need a system that's significant to your success because there are so many stocks each day in the market to trade and so many that gap. And you've got to narrow it down. You only need one trade a day to make money. And sometimes you only need one trade a week to make money. You have a better chance of making money each day you trade if you can narrow it down in the focus. It's not about throwing darts at a board. Someone said to me, I did a trade last week. I did an option in Alta, and we're going to talk about it. Someone's like, well, are you covering yourself on the opposite side? I'm like, no, 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 I, I don't even know what you're talking about, and I'm not going to do it. I have 100% conviction in the trade, therefore I'm taking the risk. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm able and willing and want to take the risk, and I believe in the trade. Pinpointing the quality stocks to trade is imperative for consistent profits and large volatile moves. Having a detailed way to find which stock to trade will make it easier for you to trade each day and therefore achieve success. And ultimately, the success is that you want the profit, but you won't make that if you don't know what to do. You won't make that if you don't know what to do. And if you're too focused on the money, you won't make the money. It's, a, it's an oxymoron in trading. So I use a daily rating system as my method each day to find the stocks to trade. The stocks that are, will have momentum moves, volatile moves, move a dollar or more. Okay. And a lot of the ones I do are really actually very reasonably priced. Now, let's look at BKS. This is a one-minute chart. Stock gap down. Close the night before $12 and some cents. Open the next day down here around $9.90. Open, dropped, rallied, held. I shorted this here. Boom, dropped. Base, 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 dropped again. I got out of this before this last drop because it was late for me. But this was the move for me in the first target. This was a nice short. I had a focus. I did it. I'm out. Boom, done. So my system, the system that I personally trade and invented and no one else has in the planet is a 26-point rating system that I use to find gaps like BKS to know this is a good short. And it's going to tell me to short it and I rate the gap in the morning. And I got up in the morning and Friday morning I rated it and it tells me that that was a good one and I didn't have to do any other ones in the day. Unless I wanted to, but I usually only do one. So the 26-point rating system teaches you directional bias to know that BKS was a short. A lot of traders might have thought this was a long. Why? Why would you might have thought it was a long? Well, stock fell hard the day before, then gapped down big, then dropped. You might have thought this was a buy. It wasn't. It was a short. And it was a short that you could have made very, very quick money in. Let's just go see the time of the day on this. This was less than 10 minutes. In less than 10 minutes, you made the money and this were done for the day. You see what I'm talking about? And this is what I do so well and excel at. But 
The reality is some day traders would look at this as a short, I mean as a long instead of a short, because of the fact that a lot of people think gaps fill themselves, they would have saw the sell off the day before, that has nothing to do with anything that I do. It's about the rating system that pinpoints what this gap will do in the BKS, okay? So it teaches you directional bias, what I do. This is how I get it right so often. And you can use this directional bias to help you take a day trade, a swing trade, or an options trade in the market or a stock. And actually, you could be in BKS for a day trade and a swing trade because it broke the low again today and is lower. I don't know what the cost of the option is, but it's lower. The system teaches you also targets, which is significant to your success because you have to know where to get in and where to get out. And that's the only way you make money. You have to chunk it out. You have to book profits when you take stuff. You're not, you have to book it, okay? You have to get the direction right to make money though. I mean, if you don't get the direction right, you won't make money. If you thought this was a long, you would have lost and I would have taken you out in the short, okay? You have to know what you're supposed to do, go long or short. And I prefer to short, to be honest with you. You are getting the stock moving in your direction with momentum and volatility for the profit in options. And that's one thing that is very important is volatility in options to make profit, even if you don't get it up to the strike price that you put in the, the train for, okay? But you have to get the number one best pick to get the fantastic risk reward. And not only that, to get the biggest bang for your buck. And you've got to get the direction right. The 26-point rating system I teach will help you make money easily because you get the direction right and it spots volatility. And so I have a method and strategy to do it. It's the follow-through that traders lack with trades. Many, many traders just lack this and you have to have the follow-through and it's the only way that you really get paid. If there's no risk to reward, how are you going to make any money? How are you going to cover your costs? How are you going to cover the ones that lose or the other costs involved with trading and having an account? Trades with follow-through have good risk to reward. They make 3 plus or 5 plus or more. Volatility creates the risk to reward trades. And that is the difference between the winners and the losers. And this is why you only need one, one a day or a couple a week, okay? If you take something and it goes three, four, five hours and you have one loser, you're up. If you have something that goes five hours, you have two losers, you're up. If it goes four hours and you have two losers, you're up. You see the difference? So that's why the risk reward is so important. What is a good risk reward? To me, it's one to three. The benefit of trading gaps and stocks with volatility is that they have moves with a good risk reward. It could be one to three, it could be one to five, it could be one to 10. I'm not talking about dream targets. I'm trying to be realistic here with a three R move. But some of the payouts can be five to $10 or more for each dollar risk if the stock goes to the dream target. I don't hold every trade to the dream target. We're gonna talk about BKS here. I actually could have made more money in that trade. Okay, but I was realistic about the target and what the market was doing on the day, and I was up a good amount of money, and I took it. So, what you have to do, and also we're gonna talk about, was a huge risk to reward trade. Not only as a day trade, but an option. So if you did the day trade in Alta, which we're gonna go over, and the swing trade, and if you did the day trade in option in, in Alta, and the option in Alta, and, and the swing trade, which I'm not in, but if you did it, to go to 200, because that's really where it's going, you could have a, this kind of risk to reward. And it's all because of the gap. So let's just look at this here. So this is a chart from Alta. This was the previous day or two days ago, not today. But the stock actually gapped up. So here's the close of the day from Thursday night, and here's the gap up in Alta. So it closed here around 162 something, and it gapped up to like 173 something or whatever. The stock gapped up like $10 on the earnings on Thursday night, okay? So the strike price of the option that I did in Alta was 185. It actually got through that on the day, the, the day of the actual open of the following day, which was Friday. I had 20 contracts. At one point I was up over five grand. I made $4,800 in the trade. This is a 4.8 R trade. Now, my goal in this, I was really trying to make, let me go back here. I was really trying to make, I thought 190. 190 and I thought 190 was realistic. The options expired on December 18th. It's still not there, but I'm out of the trade. But the reality was I was up half the money of, that I wanted to make in 24 hours, so I took it. And that was a smart thing to do, money management. But I, this really actually made a new high today with the market falling off the planet is almost at 187. So it's $3 away from that number of 190 where I would have made 10 grand on this trade. It doesn't expire till next Friday. 
I've got seven more days. I'm out of it. But I'm telling you, it's probably going to go there. Like, it is going to go there. But I saw it. And how did I know from the gap strategy that I trade? Figuring out the targets, figuring out this is a good bullish gap to do it. But I did an option in this. Now, let's just, and this is almost a five-hour trade. Amazing. You could have also, here's the profit I made on that. We'll talk about the BKS in a minute. This is Friday. Now, if you wanted to, you could have done a day trade. But what if you didn't? What if you just wanted to do the option? Would you like to make five grand or $4,800 in one trade? Yes. Yes, you would. I did 20 contracts. I risked $1,000. So again, five R's. What if you wanted to risk 500? You would have made 2,500. You see? So it's about the dollar for dollar risk. But if you risk 2,000, I wish that I had, I would have made 10 on Friday. Even only getting over the number, not even getting up to 190 which it is going. So why would you maybe do options? This is something that you might want to do because the cost of Ulta actually is expensive. The stock price to buy it, you know, is over $100, over $150, $173 into the gap. So you can do options sometimes on things that are expensive and that you wouldn't be able to take the same position in your day trading account or swing trading account. So that's the one benefit of doing options and your risk is fixed. But you could have also gone long this as a day trade. Okay. So what if you did the option and you also did the day trade? Because it was a gap. Here's the night before on Thursday night. Stock closed here before the earnings around 163 something gapped up. Gapped up to 174 or whatever. And held the gap and rallied. Do you see here? People might have thought, oh, it's going to fill the gap. Really? No. I rained it per the 26 point rating system. If it rates good, I go long it. So you could have gone long Alta on the live day, taken it to the target of 185. If you had done that, it went there. It went over 185. I forget the high of the day or the day of the gap. I, I think it almost got to 186 something. Anyways, the entry time, if you did the day trade, it was 936. Price was 176.50. If you risked a dollar, again, it would have been same risk as the option, 1,000. Or whatever you want to, if you should have done 500 shares, whatever, $500, taken 500 shares. If you stayed in into the target of 185, which it got there, total profit we would have made was $8,500. You actually would have made more money in this as a day trade than the option. Okay, same risk. Risk to reward 8.5. This is amazing. Okay, amazing. So let's just go over Alta. I don't know why I have 25 hours there. It's really 24 hours. Anyways, if you wanted to have, or maybe it was 25, I don't even know. Anyways, if you wanted to have done both trades in Alta, what would you have made? $8,500 in the day trade. I did not do this. I did the option. $4,800 in the option. Total risk was $2,000. $1,000 in this one, $1,000 in that one. You could have made $13,300 in one trade in one stock using one strategy in one day. Well, two trades. You would have done the day trade and the option, but it was one strategy. One strategy, one thing that you did. The same target on it. You would have done it, and it would have been a 6.65 bar trade. This is amazing, and you could have made this, and you could have taken the rest of the month off. I did BKS, trend friend. I don't know if you were in the room that day. We're going to go over BKS next. I did BKS on the day that Alta set up at the same time, so I didn't do this trade. Why? I was in the BKS short. I usually do one thing a day. I'm running a room live. I can, I can only do so many things at a time. I was in the Alta option, BKS short. I didn't, so I didn't do this. But if I didn't have a good short, I would have done this. Okay. But it's the same strategy. So no, I did not call this long myself, did not do it as a day trade. I did the option. I just showed you. I only did the option. But I'm telling you, you could have done both. I was doing this at the time that this set up. I'm not a magician, but, but actually I am because I called Alta to work, and it did. But if you take my class and do my strategy, you could have done them all. You're not running the room. I am. So I'm talking live, called BKS. I'm in the Alta option. I'm trying to figure out how to get out. And by the way, the people that did the option trade in Alta with me got out in the morning. Guess what? I didn't. So I made double the money in that than everybody in my room because I stayed with the trade because I believed in the target of 185. But everybody was up, okay? You can do 10 things a day, trend friend. 
You can do everything that rates per my system. I don't. I do one. That's enough for me. You can do everything though. If you have 10 screens and can look at 10 things at the same time, that all set up at the same time, go for it. Okay. I'm only one person. <laughs> it's just, you know, you people are hilarious. Anyways, the strategy is the same. Okay. Either way. But I will tell you that I made that money going long in an option, but as a day trader, I prefer to short. So that's why I watch the BKS, because as a day trader, I prefer to short. Why? I like to make money very, very quickly. I did take this options trade and make the money in less than 24 hours in Alta, but I really like to make money in minutes as a day trade, as a short. And we're going to go over the BKS here in a minute. So how is this possible? The Golden Gap 26-point rating system. That's how it's possible. It's a multi-purpose system. And so what is the strategy for options and equities? It's the same thing. You can use it the same thing. You can do it both in the same stock. You can do one in one stock, one in another stock. You just learn the one thing, the 26-point rating system, learn the targets, and you apply it in so many different ways because you're looking for the volatility momentum, which the rating system tells you in the gap, and then also you know the targets and you know the directional bias right. You can do it all. That's the point I'm trying to make with this. You can do a day trade short and an option short. You can do the day trade long and the option long. You can do a short day trade like I did in the option long, like I did in two different things, whatever. I don't have to babysit an option, but I have to babysit my day trades and BKS. So, it, you know, there's a lot of things going on when you're trading, but you can do as many as rate for the system, okay? So obviously you wanna, would love to make five grand in a trade or anything where's a comma. So if you wanna do this, you can learn how I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively. The course teaches you how to find momentum and volatility in stocks. The course also teaches you how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. Because if you would have gone short Alta thinking it was going to fill the gap or something like that, you would have lost money. And so it's not, it's not that easy. It's not like, well, I'm just going to do this and then it's going to do this. No. Many, many people want a cookie cutter it constantly in trades. It's not like that. Okay. The course teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis and gaps. And the course teaches you how to get conviction in your trading, which I teach people, because that's how you're able to take risk. $1,000 is a lot of money to risk in a trade. And $2,000 is a lot of money to risk in a trade, okay? You have to really have conviction in it. And you have conviction in it based on the rating system. This is where I get it. But the market can be a great source of wealth. Some people don't make $6,000 in a month, and I made it in a day. So even if you take that divided by half, that's phenomenal. You've got to narrow it down to watch what to do. Focus on the 26 points that tells you what to do. Do as many things as you can. If trend friend wants to do five, go for it. You rate them all and do them, okay? you got to have the buying power to take all the stocks. you got to be able to manage the trades because they move very fast. But that's what volatility momentum offers you. But the point I'm trying to make is that you only need one. Don't get greedy. It's not about being a pig, okay? Could I have made $13,000 in, in Alta on Friday? Yes. Am I very happy that I made $6,000 on the day? Yes. Is Alta probably gonna get a 190 before the options expiration even though I'm out of it? Yes. Am I gonna care? No. I'm already on to my next trade. Do you understand? Which we'll talk about here at the end if we have time. Anyways, let's talk about BKS. This was the short that I did the day of the Alta, okay, as the day trade. So the stock closed here and gapped down, and I looked to short it, and I did. So, again, the focus. Stock rallied, shorted it. Boom, I'm out. Again, no piggies. The stock ended up, I ended up getting out here, but the stock ended up going a little bit more. So you could have made another 15 cents. But what if it hadn't gone there? You see what I'm saying? This was a real target in BKS. Okay. Making money in the market is not about, it's about getting it right and having conviction and taking the risk and seeing it and taking the risk and doing it. It's not about squeezing every penny out of it. The reason that many traders try to squeeze every penny out of it 
is because they're down and they don't get it right that often. And when they finally find something that's making them money, they want to squeeze every penny out of it. I'll tell you right now, I'm in an option right now. I took it a couple of days ago. I would have paid less on it today. Do you know how much less I would have paid? Two grand, I would have paid less today. I could have saved myself. But you know what? I took it on a proper day and I didn't know the market would do what it did today. Do I care? No. I'm talking about pennies, but at the end of the day, does it matter? No. Why? Because it's a great call. It's a great trade. I'm still going to make money in it. You can't, it's like, oh gosh, this is, it's just so hard to explain this to regular people. If you don't have this kind of mindset, it's like, let me think of an analogy here. Hold on. Let me go over this trade. And I'm going to think of an analogy because what happened today, because I was I was like looking at this, I'm like, gosh, you know, I, I could have waited till today, but how would I have known today? And what if I would have missed it? I got to think of an analogy. Let me let me go over this trade and I'll think of the analogy. Because this is so apropos to many, many traders, what I'm going to explain in a minute. The price of this short was $9.95. Risk was $0.30. Cents. On 4,000 shares, it's $1,200 was the risk. Exit was nine fifty. Total profit I made on this was 1400 but I got out of it a little bit before the 950 1800 though if you stayed into it to the 950 but like I said it went to 930 something I think it even went to 920 something anyways the risk reward in this was 1.5 okay so I made 1.5 in the BKS getting out early five something on the option in the Alta okay so I got out of this a little bit before it was dropping and I took it all right. So you have to think about what your time and life is worth. Now, going back to what I was saying before here, I was having a conversation the other day with someone, and he said to me, Melissa, you live in Manhattan. Why do you live in the most expensive city on the planet when you're doing so well? And and I and I and I and I laughed at the same time he was he was 100 percent serious. And I answered him seriously, and I said, Because I love New York. But at the end of the day, if I move back to where I'm originally from, which is Pennsylvania, I could never work again. I could just retire. What's the purpose of that? Okay. What do you want to do with your time and life? And this goes back to trying to squeeze pennies out of a move in something. If you're up, you're up. You're up 5,000, you're up. You're up to 1,000, you're up. You're up 2,000, you're up. You're up 3,000, you're up. It's, it's money. It's real money, people. I walked by... I just, it's just, it was, I almost, I almost just burst into tears. I ran to the, the liquor store tonight before the thing to get a bottle of wine. And they sell hats on the street, on 42nd Street. And some guy asked the guy next to him and said, how many hats did you sell today? You people have no perspective. If you get to the point that you are making hundreds of dollars, or any money at all a minute. Do you have any idea how many people don't know how to do that? That are begging on the street corner that can't feed themselves in the town that I live in? It is not about squeezing out the pennies. It's not about whether or not you didn't do both the trades in Alta. It's about making money and being happy with what you do in your time in your life and actually making something of yourself. Okay? And actually adding something to the value of your life. What value would I have if I moved back to Pennsylvania, said goodbye to all of you, and never saw or talked to any of you again? Because I could do that t tonight, okay? What purpose and motivation would I have to get out of bed tomorrow morning or the next day or the next week? I mean, where, where is the, the depth in people anymore? We are so possessed and so obsessed about making money that we've lost all focus on, on what life is all about. Look at the world that we live in. All you have to do is turn on the television, and you know what? It's the holiday season. And if there's any time to get focused on what, you're, what really is meaningful and significant in life, that it's right now. I almost burst into tears when I was walking back home and I, that guy asked that. And I didn't even do any day trades today that I was interested in, okay? I did one little teeny weeny thing that was a snail and barely moved. Okay, and I probably made more money in that today than that guy did selling hats for 10 hours. you got to get some perspective. And the guy that asked me about this, why don't I move back to Pennsylvania? Why do I live in New York? 
because I am passionate about what I do in the market or I wouldn't be sitting here with you right now because many of you actually come to all my webinars and will never take my class because you're hoping that you will learn what I know by watching every video I have on YouTube which is a thousand or two thousand or a million over the last three years I've had the business you will never learn it by watching my videos you will never learn it unless you do the class I'm taking my time right now to find the one person that actually I will impact their life and will do my class and I'm able to do that every time I do one of these webinars with Kathy and Kevin You've got to get some perspective here, some of you. You will never be successful in the market if you don't get a handle on that. I'm telling you right now. Right now. Okay? I'm sorry if this was very powerful words to say tonight, but some of you need to hear these things. Okay? I really do want the best for you. And, and some of you need to just stop. Take a break till January. Think about what's going on in your head, okay? Because it's not about the money. It's about getting some perspective, all right? So the idea of the webinar, the theme for tonight, even though we got off track, was learning how to make money trading volatility. And I have a method to do that. And I use it every day when I trade. Gene is saying bulls make money, bears make money, hogs get slaughtered. Yes. It's not about getting out the low of the day in a short. It's not about getting out the high of the day in a long. It's about chunking it out and making money. I love holding things to target. Nobody loves that more than me, but it doesn't always go to the target, okay? The dream target, I should say. So I teach a class. It's a Golden Gap course. It's a complete system to use to trade. And I teach a bullish class and a bearish class, but I prefer the shorts. The bearish class is the 19th and 20th. If you're interested, it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. The cost of the class is $39.99. And as you can see, you can make that back in one trade or one day. You have to understand what to do. It is not about, it is not about just the trade. It's about learning something that you could replicate to make thousands of dollars every day that you trade, that you get a good gap. If you trade five days a week and one day you lose a thousand and four days you make a total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, guess what? You're up. And you're making more money than the guy down in the corner that's selling the hats will ever make, okay? Do you understand? Anyways, you can email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com if you want more information. I'm doing a special if you sign up by Friday where you can be in the trading room free to the end of March. To the end of March, that's the whole first quarter of 2016. It's hard to believe it's 2016. Three months free you get in the room. You get all my calls and all my trades, like Alta, like BKS. Anything you want to do that I call, you can get them in the room. This more than pays for the cost of the class if you just take my trades. And you get it free, but you got to sign up by Friday. I also teach a class that's called the Trends Course. It's $9.99. This is the class on how to read trends and long-term charts. You can email me if you want to sign up for this. And if you want to sign up for both, and get the room free to the end of March, you will save $1,500. Cost of the class is $44.99. You get the trading room free to 2016 at the end of March. You get the Golden Gap class and the Trends class, and it's $44.99. You save $1,500. Deadline for this is December 11th. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? If not, I, I, I can bring up some things and talk about the market today because we're done early. Even though I got off topic, we're done early. I must have talked very, very fast. Uh, does anyone want me to go over anything? Any questions? Any comments? Because I want to talk about the market. If you don't have any, I'll bring up my charts. I'm going to take a film crew out into the streets of New York. That's coming up and interview people like that guy. And you know what? It's going to be on my YouTube site and then you people are going to get some perspective. That'll, those are the those are the YouTube videos that go viral. Not my calls at Alta. It'll be the guy in the street corner selling the hats. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, all right. Let me bring up the charts, everyone. Trend Friend is asking some questions. Opportunities this week, meaning things that I already traded or for the rest of the week. If you're interested in signing up for the class of the specials, email me at melissa at the socks, Hold on one second, I'll just take this off and I'll bring